I'm Lynette Zhang, Chief Market Analyst here at ITM Trading, a full service physical gold and silver dealer specializing in custom strategies to help you survive and thrive through the reset that has already begun. And we're going to do some, some uh, viewer questions today. And we're going to start with Tim Teven. And he asks, what happens to cash savings after a reset? Well, a better question is probably what happens to it during the reset. Now, on average, we don't know what that reset is going to look like, but what I can tell you is that most of the time, it is a thousand to one. So if you have a thousand dollars in your bank account, when you wake up in the morning, there will be one dollar there. So basically it evaporates and that's why saving in fiat doesn't really make any sense because you've got to understand that by design, inflation is built into the fiat or government backed system. And what backs the government these days or and therefore what backs the currencies is the full faith and credit of the government, which means their ability to keep growing debt. And we know that this debt is simply not repayable. We already know that. So that's why you need to have physical gold and physical silver to hold its value during the reset because currencies will not by design. And I'll just say the only difference between inflation and hyperinflation is the speed of the inflation. And uh, Sheila Perkins asks, what is a bug out place? Ah, well, a bug out place is a secluded place that you can go to when things get really bad wherever you are. So, for example, you know, recently, as this, this has been happening all over the country and it's still happening. There are a lot of rioting that is going on. So when people are hungry and hopeless, they make choices they would not otherwise make. And so if it gets really nasty out there, because frankly, I'm in central Phoenix, right? That's, and so in my neighborhood itself, my little neighborhood may be nice, but all around it, maybe not as nice. So a bug out place would be a place that I can go, um, and be away from lots of people, everybody, almost everybody, except those that I choose to go with me. And DC asks, what good is gold and silver in a cashless system? Great question, DC. And here's the answer. A hundred, because of the broad base of demand with both physical gold and silver, I mean, it's used across every single aspect of the global economy. And so because of that, you can always, always convert your gold and silver into any of the local currency, even if it's cashless. So then it's going to be what? Central bank digital currencies or some form of digital currency. So the reason why you want to hold gold and silver is because then you can convert it as you need to. Originally in my personal strategy, um, that you know, we execute here at ITM and I've been executing for a long time for myself. But uh, I had thought in my strategy that on the other side of the reset, I would convert much, maybe even most of my gold holdings, not all of it, because you should 100% of the time, you should always have a portion of your wealth in real money, gold and silver. But I had thought that I would do maybe the lion's share back into the new currency and, and fiat money or currency assets once the reset had occurred. But because of the direction that I see them taking us, cashless, digital currencies, et cetera, well, boy, if you don't hold it, you don't own it. So when everything is intangible, you really need, it's even more important then to be able to hold your wealth intact until you want to use it. So personally, I have changed my strategy. My intention is to hold a lot more of that gold and silver than I otherwise would have, and I will convert it 
as I need to, to make sure that I can hold my wealth intact. So that's really what good it is. And uh, let's see, Julie at Lee asks, what if a person uses their credit card but pays it completely off be before each and every month? Are you still okay as far as variable debt is issued? Yeah, absolutely, because you're not carrying any balance. So that's just fine. It is carrying that balance in a variable rate, interest rate, that puts you in jeopardy. So no, that's fine, Julie. And MH asks, if I receive VA disability benefits and a reset occurs, will my disability payments stop? It's not that anything stops, just like, you know, Social Security or just like universal basic income or any of this, it's what those benefits will buy, right? We get blinded by the numbers, but it's that purchasing power value. So no, I don't really think you're, I mean, everything is going to have to be modified and reset. You know, part of the problem and part of the reason why we needed a reset to begin with is from all of these promises, you know, and entitlements that they've spent. They've spent that wealth. They've spent that money. So uh, we know globally that's a big crisis, and I'm going to do a piece on that maybe next week. So it isn't whether or not they're going to stop. It's that they have to destroy the currency, get burn off all that debt in a hyperinflationary furnace, then we can start anew. That's really much more concerning as than to whether or not those benefits are going to be there. You know, they may still be there, but they'll look a whole lot different and they'll buy a whole lot less. And uh, Robert J asks, can we roll a 401k from our current employer into gold and silver IRA? Probably yes, Robert, but you're going to have to check and see if you can do an in-service withdrawal roll over election. So check with your current plan administrator and see if that is an option that, if that's an option open to you. But, you know, probably but I'm not looking at the documents and all documents are different. In service withdrawal roll over election. That'll allow you, uh, now I haven't looked at the rules lately, so it could be different than this, but uh, that'll allow you to move typically either 50% or $50,000 into an IRA. And Leo G asks, so what happens when the cup formation is done? Does it drop or go higher? Please explain. Goes a lot higher, Leo, because it's like holding your hand on a spring, right? So all that tension is building up and building up. When your hand is removed, it'll shoot higher, much, much higher. That's why I said, and obviously I can be wrong about this, but it would not surprise me, I'll say that, it would not surprise me to see uh, spot gold be somewhere near 2,500 by the end of this year. And that could happen a lot faster because we are so close to that breakout. And that is so significant. And by the way, 2,000 is really a psychological number because remember, a rising gold price indicates a failing currency. So we don't really know yet how much the central bankers will come in to suppress the price. So we have to see. But just keep in mind that all the money that they print means that the fundamental value when they reset the fiat currency against gold, the higher gold will go in nominal terms, in terms of that currency. So that's it for today. This past week, I did two great interviews. One, A Coffee with Lynette with George Gammon. And I mean, he's so bright and he came to us from St. Bart's. I really wish I was there because it looks fabulous. Uh, but 
That was a great conversation. We covered a lot of things. And also with Eric at Trad Cat Night, which is always a lot of fun. And both of those interviews were really, really different. Don't you think we covered different topics than both of them? We absolutely did. So they are both worth, worth listening to. Now, this coming week, I'll be on with IGTV, which is a new uh, interview. So that's always fun because I have no idea what to expect. You know, I always do these things live, so there you go. But if you have any questions, send them in to, I, to questions at itmtrading.com. Make sure you visit our blog. That's where you'll see things that I write and links for all the different, you'll get the images and the links from all my research. And that's itmtrading.com forward slash blog. And then just keep in mind that if you want to know more about the strategy, which I strongly encourage you to do, just click that Calendly link below and schedule a time to meet with one of our consultants. They've all been trained in the strategy that I developed for myself. And I think you'll get a lot out of them because with everything that's going on, I mean, honestly, these are repeatable patterns. It's really pretty simple to know what to do. So call us, we'll help you figure out what's gonna support your goals uh, or click the Calendly link or call us 888-696-4653 and set up a time that works best for you because we truly are here to be of service. And just keep in mind, it is absolutely positively time to cover your assets. And you do that with the Wealth Shield, which is made up of physical gold and physical silver. So if you like this, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you share all of these videos with anybody that's willing to sit for 10 minutes, 12 minutes. So keep in mind that I will see you tomorrow. And until then, please be safe out there. Bye-bye.